This is a Fox News Alert. Live pictures from Brooklyn, New York, where families gather to honor loved ones who died in New York nursing homes due to COVID-19. Several of those family members will be speaking at the event, including our own colleague, Janice Dean, who spoke just moments ago. On it, and then she died, and we weren't able to see them. The only time Sean was invited to see his mom was after she died through glass window. What is the humanity in that? So we never had wakes or funerals. They didn't have last rites. I prayed many nights that they both had someone, a kind stranger or nursing home worker that held their hand when they had the, their last breath. And so I'm here today as a grieving family member, not someone who is politically motivated, which our governor likes to call me, or she's not an expert in anything except maybe the weather. Well, I am ex an expert in grief, and I am an expert in trying to find answers and accountability for their deaths. This is the memorial that we have today, the We Care Wall, and it's beautiful, and I'm grateful for all of these beautiful families that I have met because we are bound together through our grief, and we are bound together because we want answers, and we will not stop. We have been shouting for 10 months, 10 months, and I am grateful for Ron Kim. I am grateful to him because he was brave enough to stand up and want accountability for all of us. And that's why a lot of you are here. And I'm grateful for the coverage. But we will not stop. We will not stop even when the cameras stop rolling. Amen. We want answers and I hope we get them. I think we're getting closer. But we remember everyone today the 15,000 plus that we lost, many of us weren't able to mourn in the traditional ways. So I thank you, my family. I thank you. And let's remember them. Let's remember them because they risked their lives and we can't let them die in vain. Thank you.